Lock 6 was built about 80 years ago, essentially to maintain water levels in the River Murray that would provide navigation and of course provide the stable water level for diversion. When it was built, water levels in the river were uh, increased as a result of the lock being built by about three metres. And what that's meant for the Chowler Anabran system is that a lot of the creeks that were once ephemeral and might have flowed every one or two years as the river levels naturally rose, they became permanently flowing creeks. So there's now about um, seven or eight points above lock six where the river effectively bypasses lock six and forms an anabranch. Well, the Chowler Anna Branch provides a, a unique range of aquatic habitats. It's got these fast flowing creeks, it's got slow flowing creeks, and it's got backwaters and big lakes that are joined up at times of flood. In here, you've got just what the Murray used to be, flowing water, changes in water level, lots and lots of wood. That's all really important for things that live in the water. So things like fish, it gives them lots of different places to live in, gives them places to spawn, and it also encourages the survival of, of little juvenile fish once they've been spawned. I think the most unique thing about Chowler is the area of floodplain that it covers and provides such a different range of habitat areas such as this wetland Pilby Lagoon which is what we call a semi-permanent wetland. In these habitats we've recorded over 30 species of uh, different water birds including state listed rare species such as the musk duck and the Australasian shoveler.